Hello, welcome back everyone. This tutorial 23 ma jeno introduce lo chine concept the IX lo kore internet exchange. You know the internet exchange a chao jeno na pyoge ma jeno jeno na pyoge re um IP address ko jeno pyore pilo chine na autonomous system number a chao ni jeno pyore pilo chine um the INL organization ni PRIR lo chao ni jeno eri hari u jeno pyoge re. Aku na thay na thay eri hari ko BGP chao ni pyore. Now pido PGP chao ni pyore. Now jeno peering sura chao ni u jeno introduce lo kere. Ero di concept ni u ti bide kama na thay pa ti ti pao pyoge ni suin IX internet exchange wa jeno pyoge ni. Ero jeno internet exchange ni pata lo um, pihak mana sih loh sih, jono video itu dulu, itu video itu dulu itu kau jono jono pelajar ni, eh video video ni ya di konsep itu ti pide kama di di I X sura video ni ujilah sih jono ayang ku nale lelu video jono tu apa kau ni, kau ni elah jono di video itu di video itu dulu ni jono cuci ya. When you use the internet, what happens? Whether you go online to chat with a friend, or send mail, or buy a book, or check the weather, watch a movie, or study the Peloponnesian War, it feels like there's one wire connecting you directly to the thing you want. But a billion other people are connecting to a billion other things at the same time. How does that happen? It's really about making agreements. Think of networking as a game. It only works if we agree to play by the same rules. Otherwise, it's not much fun. If you can get two or more computers to play together, you have a network. If your friend can do it too, there's another network. But if you both agree that your networks will play the same way, now you can hook the two together. You have an internetwork. The rules we play by are called the internet protocol. And as long as we all agree, we can keep adding more devices and more networks until the whole world is connected. That's what the internet is, a network of networks that share each other. Every device on the internet has its own unique address. Anything you send via internet is really just a message from one device to another. But it doesn't travel in one big block. It gets pulverized into tiny packets of data, each one wrapped with... Okay, hey ma, you know, now share my solution. You know, 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 Packet ni ni tu pula sebab dia pula ni. Pakai piano tau je lah. With info about what it is, where it came from, and where it's going. This way, your one message can actually take several different paths to its destination. Then, by following the protocol, the receiving device knows how to put it all back together. The strength of the internet is that it's decentralized. With so many possible connections, there is no single point of failure. If one path gets overloaded or broken, your data just takes a different path. Even if a big chunk of the internet gets wiped out, your message can still find its way. But let's say you use one internet provider and your friend is on a different one. How does your data really get from one network to the other? Some companies make private connections with each other to exchange traffic. But more and more traffic is flowing through shared service platforms we call internet exchange points. An internet exchange is a place where many different organizations come together to interconnect their technology. There may be access providers, broadcasters, publishers, social network sites, telecom operators, Nearly anybody who relies on network traffic can benefit from the exchange. By connecting in a common place, they save costs, and the traffic between them flows faster and much more efficiently. Traditionally, 
providers have sold each other passage on their networks. But for some providers who regularly exchange traffic, all that buying and selling can get to be more trouble than it's worth. Many of them saw that if they just agree to meet each other halfway, then everybody's costs go down and the traffic moves more smoothly. Providers are able to make a single connection to the platform to exchange traffic with many participants. This way of doing things is called peering, and it's making the internet faster and more affordable for everybody. The exchange participants make deals with each other according to mutual benefit, so the peering system tends to regulate itself. It may seem like companies are giving away their services, but in fact, each is providing their part of the whole solution their customers need to most efficiently and reliably exchange traffic. The internet is open, decentralized, and totally neutral. Its intelligence lives at the edge, not in the core. No single organization controls it, and that's why it works as well as it does. By agreeing to cooperate, we all make the internet happen. And that's how the internet happens. Okay, as you see in the jewelry ma, I X internet account in our two part have you see I X people, I X people you see internet exchange points. How you know? Yeah, any high any concept video channel internet below me piece out how they below how they buy so you know till up a bit. Okay, now now next tutorial ma internet exchange points in the particular you know tab below. Shame that one. All right, thank you very much everyone, and see you on the next tutorial.